Hello again. Uh, previously, a few weeks ago, I showcased my IBM ThinkPad T43. This was a Windows XP machine from uh, 2005, I believe. And now we've got something a little different. Uh, another IBM ThinkPad, as you can see by the sticker. Uh, Missing the hard drive enclosure there. Can't really get a good view of the camera, sorry. Uh, yep. Yeah. Missing the hard drive enclosure. Opening the latch is a bit different. A double. And inside we've got very similar layout. Uh, Pentium 3 and it's for Windows 98 or 2000 uh, this is an IBM ThinkPad T20 to a much older one uh, came without an OS, some damage to it uh, casing is a bit cracked around here might need fixing, I might replace it alongside with the uh, drive enclosure. Stickers are coming loose sadly which I'm not too happy about but other than that the battery still works and it does boot up. Here we go. Standard BIOS. It's got the black IBM ThinkPad button here if you can see. Uh, can I get a better view? There we go, as you can see it's the standard prior to some of the IBM and Lenovo changes which I am happy with. Uh, I attempted to install Windows 2000 on it but it caused me some issues, uh, namely drivers. I couldn't get the network to work at all, neither the Ethernet which can be seen at the back alongside with everything else which I haven't shown uh, PS2, USB 1 Ethernet and uh, phone line modem as well as some older uh, ports the second PS2 both mouse and keyboard can be connected to it uh, as you can see it's still booting up uh, since I had issues with Windows 2000 drivers, I attempted installing Linux on this and uh, it works surprisingly well despite its age. Uh, takes very long to start up however. Uh, printing spoolers. I should get rid of that. Uh, CEOPS. That's what slows it down. This isn't called for it. I'll see what I can do. I don't know too much about uh, Linux processes. Okay, now let's get a better view. Better view of the screen. Rearranging the tripod again. And uh, there we go. Pull it in closer though. I'm not good with my setups at all. Apologies. Keyboard is also a bit loose, uh, though it does have the good classic ThinkPad feel to it, unlike the more recent uh, trash brought to us by Lenovo. And it's still booting. 
as you can see it will take a while and here we go uh, Lubuntu LX FC interface okay yeah no trackpad either that's okay since I much prefer the track point using very updated uh, tripod here okay it is connected to the internet Wi-Fi it's not because the PCI Wi-Fi card is too outdated for Linux functionality let's see if I can connect it to the network okay we're at the desk now a much better place for recording uh, I plugged in a, an ethernet cable and let's see how it manages the internet modern day internet on 15 year old hardware if the browser launches at all track point all the keys work as expected uh, but there seems to be some freezing issues I don't know if this is an issue of hardware or just uh, software struggling but as you can see uh, the functionality isn't perfect here even starting up software oh we've got something there we go Firefox starting up no modifications to it not really optimized either uh, let's try googling Crisis Gaming. Did you mean Crisis Gaming? Kansas Gaming? No. Does it scroll? Yes. The scroll button, the third one, does work. However, scrolling in Firefox is struggling. And there we go. Okay. Steam Community. No, nope, I don't seem to be around here. Just stuff about Kinesis. Hero Spotlight Kinesis, here we go. YouTube. A plugin is needed. Supposedly, something is happening though. I don't know what this video is. Please don't sue me for copyright infringement. Hmm. I'm not sure if it shows too well on this camera. However, that's much better stutters horribly not watchable at all ok 
Okay, it crashed. Where's have we here? Let's try a pre-installed Lubuntu program, uh, such as. Okay, Abbey Ward. Let's do some basic uh, text editing. Does not seem to be switching on. So, uh, conclusion modern day Linux, even LXDE, is not compatible with the ThinkPad T22. Or maybe it is, and the hardware is just damaged in some way. I haven't really looked inside it yet. Uh, when I can, I will try to install Windows 98. I just don't really know where to get a copy. Oh! Abbey Word opened. Once the program is open, it can't run, it's just got problems with starting up. So, possibly the hard drive itself is damaged. I'd be... I... The processor seems to handle programs okay, but uh, the hard drive might have sustained some damage or just gotten really worn out and aged. We'll see if I can get this thing up and running at some point. Maybe I'll be able to refurbish it a little more and uh, fix some of the physical damage for sure.